how a zero turn is made. Step 1. Raw Materials The zero turn starts its life here with raw material. Step 2. Laser Cutting This machine takes large sheets of metal and prepares it by cutting holes and shapes for the different components of the zero turn's production. Step 3. Folding all the parts that were cut with the laser machine are then taken here to be folded and prepared to make shape of the mower. Step 4. Power Press Different parts of sheet metal are taken here that need to get a rounded edge. They're processed by putting into these massive hydraulic presses to get the shapes desired. Step 5. CNC and Tooling From here these CNC machines are used to prepare items and different component parts and toolings for the production of the zero turn all completely in-house self-sufficient and using these machines they can create parts without having to outsource and purchase from external sources as you can see this machine here is preparing a specifically designed component in the production of a machine it's got threads different cuts and angles step six cnc turret punch this machine here takes the sheets of metal to be able to punch through larger holes in the design for the decks or the different components for the mower. They have different size punches to be able to get the different desired effects all housed in the one machine to get the desired result. Step 7. Deck Fabrication From here all the different components come in in kit form ready for assembly in the fabricating of the decks. They get put on these trolleys and brought into the area, processed in an in and out system, a one-way system in. They come in with the kit form, they go through the fabrication, come out onto these trolleys, ready to move on to the next stage of the process. Step 8. Chassis Fabrication In here all the parts are assembled and put onto this special jig system that has been designed and is used in the USA factories of Aarons and Gravely. It's been specifically designed to be able to hold the chassis in place, quick release and clamping mechanisms for easier working conditions. The table has been specially designed so that it can be moved and rotated for easier access to the different areas for welding. With so much thought and consideration that's gone into the design and engineering just of this jig system itself for the production of the chassis, it reflects the mentality and the actual work that is carried out to a high quality standard in the production process. The design of the working conditions in the factory go hand in hand with the quality of work that is carried out on each and every piece of machinery. Step 9. Paint Once all the parts have been cut and shaped to different sizes, they're assembled on this trolley and brought to the paint production line. First they go through a cleaning process. Then they go on to the racks here to be processed through into the powder coating stations. From here an operator can gain access from either side to make sure he gets into all those nooks and crannies. It moves into the oven for processing and then comes out the other side of the finished product looking like new. Step 10. Assembly the Chassis comes in through here for chassis preparation, getting all the different components assembled on that need to go through each of the different sections of assembly. We got the engine prep and installation here. The engines are taken out and then put onto this jig while the exhaust system is prepared and set onto it before the installation of the engine onto the actual chassis itself. As you can see, it's a delicate process as it's lowered in, attaching other cables or uh, fuel lines to the engine in its installation, ready to move on. As it comes here, it gets to the transaxle installation they have a special jig to be able to rotate the chassis to be able to install the different components and get easier access for the workers. Each part is taken out slowly and put in carefully so as not to do any damage or scratch the items. Then it gets into the drive installation of the arms and the hydros. Uh, this has to be done in a very delicate way otherwise it will show up at the final parts of the mower inspection at the very end of the assembly line. Then we start off the wheel installation with the caster wheels and here you can see that they're getting the caster wheel framework installed onto the chassis, nice and secured into location, both of them secured down 
bolted and then the caps sealed up. Once the wheels are installed, then they can move on to the next stage. So once the front caster wheels have been done, then we move on into the fuel tank installation. The fuel tank can be located here underneath the operator's seat of the mower. It holds a capacity of about 19 litres. Once we've got that, then we can move on to the control panel installation. And once that's fitted, then the wires are all connected up. We get on to the drive wheel installation, and this is carefully positioned onto the chassis of the mower. All the wheels and nuts and bolts have all been put in there and then set to a certain torque before being moved on to the next section. Next up, we have the operator seat installation. The different components are attached to the seat base, getting it ready to be attached to the main mower itself. Once all of this is done, it is carefully then taken on over. And as you can see that there's foam here underneath the seat to stop any scratching, just in case there's an adjustment that needs to be made. From here, then we move on into the deck installation. The deck is assembled and put on the mower, and then all the height settings are adjusted, ready to move on to the end of line inspection. When we get to the end of line inspection, all the different components that have been installed are double checked for quality assurance making sure that all the stickers and decals are in place. The wheels are then inspected to make sure it's the right wheel for the right mower. This is the apex. The safety switch is put on so that the mower can be checked to see how it operates without somebody sitting on it safely. The throttle is turned up and then the drive systems are inspected to see how they perform. They double check with a reading on this panel screen over here to see how each drive is driving on the machine. Checking the reverse action of the mower, the handbrake is applied, the engine is turned off and that is pretty much it. Gets wrapped up and put on a pallet, ready for shipping out to a new dealership. And that is how a zero turn mower is made.